Okay, this will be a quick video on using the filling option to shade the area between graphs, either, either between two graphs or to shade the area uh, below a function, uh, to shade the area below a graph. Now the command for it is called filling. So if you search on the help file for filling, there are a few examples here. Or the other thing you could do is just search for the plot function and then one of the options under plot is the filling option here and there's a few examples there as well you know how to change the color and things like that so i've made a different video on a separate video on how to use the plot function to get two or three graphs in one and things like that so if you need to just watch that video first so at the most basic level the way this works is let's say i have the function sin x and suppose I plot this from say minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi okay so that gives us the function uh, y is equal to sine x okay and if I just want to make this a little bit thicker I could say plot style and so thick okay and then the next option I'm just going to use the filling option so let's say filling Okay, and the same thing hyphen and greater than sign to give you the arrow and for example let's say just axis and that shades the area between the graph and the x-axis so it shades the area both below the graph when the graph curve is above the x-axis and it shades the area above the graph when the curve is below the uh, below the x-axis now if you only want to shade and it will shade the area from wherever you started the plot until you ended the plot. So it will shade the area all the way, in this case from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi. If you only want to shade, let's say from 0 to 2 or something like that, but you wanted to plot a wider range, the only way I know to do that is to use two separate plots and then combine them together later. Again, I'll show you how that works uh, maybe towards the end of this video. So shading to the axis is quite straightforward it's just filling and then axis if I change this to a number say 0 0.5 then it will shade the area until that y value up to 0 0.5 so if I wanted to say shade the area between two curves so what we'll do is let's say take two functions something like say x squared and say x plus 1 and so I want to plot these two graphs, x squared and x plus 1. Let's say we plot them from minus 2 to plus 2. And I'll leave the filling as axis for now. Okay, so this plots the two graphs. This is your quadratic function and the line y equals x plus 2, x plus 1. And it has shaded the area all the way up to the x-axis, both above and below the curve. Now, if I want to shade the area between these two curves, what you would say is something like this. So you'd say 1. So that's from meaning from the first curve up to the second one. So the first curve being x squared and the second function being x plus 1. So this now shades the area between these two. But it will also shade these area here because you plotted the function from minus 2 to plus 2. If you only want to shade it from there to there, then I'll show that in the next example. But just to show you how this part of the function works, suppose I had a third function here. Let's say comma sine x, let's say. So, and suppose I just wanted to shade the area between x squared and sine x. So that's from the first function to the third one. So th you change this to say first to third. So that now shades the area between these two. If I want to shade the area between x plus 1 and sine x, I'd say from the second function to the third one. And that shades the area between these two. So that's more or less how the filling function works. If you want to shade the area between, let's say, only for this little segment here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take, uh, okay, let's rewrite this one. So let's just make a copy of that. So I'll take out this sine x. What I'll do is I want what I want to do is I want to plot this function from 
Okay, let's just change this from 1 to 2. What I'd like to achieve is to plot the function all the way from minus 2 to plus 2, but I only want to shade the region from this point to this point here, the segment where these two intersect, or the enclosed area. So what I'm going to do is first plot this without any filling. So that just plots the two functions. And redo the plot, but this time only plot it in between where you want the filling to be. So I want it from this point, which I happen to know is minus 0 0.618. And the x-coordinate at this point is 1.618. Okay, so you solve this equation that's what you get as the solutions. And on this one, I'll say filling from the first to the second. Okay, so that produces something like this. Now you can combine these two plots together by using the show function. So what I'll do is I'll name this one plot one. I'll call this plot two. And to combine these two together, I could use the show command. Increase that font size. So show plot one, comma plot two. And there you have it. So all it's doing is just showing these two plots on one axis, or just combining those two. So since the second one is only plotted between these two values, the shading only appears for that region there. And you can use the other functions as before. So if you had two or three of them and you wanted to plot between two specific values, at least this is the only way that I know that it works. I don't know if there is any other way to achieve the same thing. And if any of you also do three-dimensional plots, so using the plot3d function, then you can use the filling option to shape the space between a three-dimensional plot as well. So there's filling there, so you can produce something like this, for instance. And that's it.